Welcome to Tutorials Point. As in previous video, we have discussed the first application of AngularJS. So let's do it now practical. So here, I'll be using Visual Studio as an IDE where I will write an HTML page and will implement the AngularJS code into it. You can go for Notepad or Notepad++ or any editor which you want. So let's go to the machine and we'll start doing the practicals. So as you can see here in the screen, uh, there is a first HTML that I have written. It is a normal HTML page like there is a head section, body, so and title inside the head. So inside the title, I will give a simple title, Angular JS demo. And along with that, in the head section, I will pass the reference to that script file of AngularJS. So here in my project, I have created a scripts folder inside which you can see there is an angular.js and angular.min.js. So you can choose either of the file which you want, but as I discussed earlier, in angular.js, this file should be used for the development purpose. As you can see, the code is readable enough, the variable names are pr uh, properly named, the code is properly intended. But if you'll find the same in a minified version of AngularJS file, you can see the code is not much readable, the variables names are shortened like A, B, C, D and so on. So for the development purpose, I'm going to use the angular.js file for using that, either you can drag and drop this file okay, or simply you can write the same script src is equal to the URL okay, and in the URL you can also pass the CDN path as we have seen in the previous video. Now once you are done with this. Inside the body, I created a div tag, okay. Inside this, I put a plain text like these double curly braces. Once these are written in the HTML, it will be treated as a plain text. But if you write the same thing in AngularJS code, this anything inside this double uh, curly braces will be treated as the expression. So. In the second div, I will use ng app attribute, okay, and finally I will not pass anything in the double quotes. Why? Because so far I have not created any module into my application. So let's write the similar thing again. But here, as I said, the double curly braces would be treated as the expression. So if I will write the same thing, 10 plus 20 again. So now it will be treated as an expression. And let's see how it will be looking in the browser. So here you can see it clearly that in the first div, this text has been treated as a plain text, rather in the another one, this is treated as an expression. So 10 plus 10, 20, you are getting the output that is 30. So for now, you can start writing some similar applications. In our next videos, we will find some advanced implementation of AngularJS.